still lots of time before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Pupcake! <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Strawberry. Morning, Blueberry. Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hi, Strawberry. Morning, Lemon. Mmm, what's that fragrance? Mm, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry bitty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is uh, a bit more bountiful than I expected. Uh, whew, thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. 
I'll help you, Barricade Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Can Bill. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Good morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <laughs> now, Custard! <laughs> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst! Do you want to see what under control looks like? Really? What should I do? I mean, should I say something? You know how she takes so much pride in being organized. I know, but I think we have to. Um, Orange? <coughs> yes, strawberry? Your, um, uh, peaches and carrots? Peaches next to peas, just the other side plums. Carrots right before cucumbers. Yes, they're... If you get to come quads, you've gone too far. What I mean is, I mean, the problem is... Problem? There, there, there's a problem? Oh, just, um, a bitty one. Oh, good. How bitty? Well, the peaches and carrots are sort of, um, wilting in the sun. Oh, the sun? I'm on it, I got it. It's under control. No worries. Great. Just great. One more goof up like this and the whole town will think I don't know how to run my store. Oh. Um, everything okay? Well, sure. 
Sun Salt. Orange, are you sure there isn't anything we can do to help you? Thanks, Strawberry. But I've got the whole thing under control. Whoa! Uh, so <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Okay, who's next? Quiet here, too. Not a customer all day. How about you? Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. At least they didn't go to waste. Poor Orange. She's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries! Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? You know what? Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! Those are for produce only. Nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. Would you like me 
need to. Oh no, no problem. I, I can handle it. Quick, wrangle those radishes. Catch, Blueberry. Thanks. Great, more crates. Why are we whispering? Because if Orange finds out we're helping, she'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? Oh, how fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm. So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry, because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! Great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berrykin Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time! Girls, come back! Oh, I need your help! Hey!
lost me too <laughs> and I almost lost the mail in that wind oh that's it I'm restricting all deliveries until this windstorm dies down hot honey chocolate for all our brave postal bees <laughs> oh <laughs> chocolate we'll just stay cozy in here I've heard it's going to get worse a person would have to be really misguided to go out in weather like that <gasps> Blueberry! Anything in the mail for me? Has it arrived? Is it here? Where is it? Sorry, Blueberry. All postal service is suspended due to the windstorm. The roads are iced over due to the frost, so no mail truck deliveries either. Oh. Here. What were you expecting, Blueberry? Oh, the next segment of the latest Patty Persimmon mystery. The case of the missing mangoes? <laughs> that was last month. This one is called Tennis Caper, anyone? Someone is cutting holes in the Toadstool Tennis Club's rackets and sabotaging the tennis tournament. I simply have to find out who's doing it and why they're doing it. It's outrageous! <laughs> Well, that's an intriguing riddle, <laughs> but I'm afraid you'll have to wait to find out who done it. Your package must be stuck at the branch in Barry Bitty Dale. Oh, I can't stand it. Refill? <sighs> no, thank you, Orange. I better get home before this wind gets worse. Well, be careful out there. I will. Blueberry is usually a very patient, even-tempered person. But if there is anything she is not patient about, it's getting to the bottom of a mystery. <laughs> Bosley Bookworm, are you all right? Are you... Where are you? Caught in some sort of net. Net? Uh, um, Blueberry? <gasps> There. The door, the wind blew. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. I think I've wrecked your racket. Oh, don't worry. This is a really old tennis racket. I was going to throw it away, but I kept thinking I might find something useful to do with it. Oh, if only it could somehow get me to Berry Bitty Dale. My Patty Persimmon is stuck there at the main post office. The butterfly bus is grounded, and, and... Oh, that racket won't help you. What you need are some ice skates. I heard the roads were frozen over. I don't have any ice skates, but maybe I could make some. Oh, but even if those work, Berry Bitty Dale is a long way to ice skate. Hmm. What is it, Custard? <gasps> yeah! That looked like... Uh, no, it couldn't have been. Could it? No. 
you might be good at until you try. Well, now that everyone in Berry Bitty City has a set of icy skites, I can get back to my mystery novel. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. About to see who's sabotaging the tennis tournament. I wonder if it's the ball boy. Oh! Oh, I lost my place. Hello? Blueberry's Bookshop, Blueberry Muffin speaking. Miss Muffin? This is Ladybug Lois of Berry Bitty Dale Berry Sporty Sports Store. My, my, has it ever been a mystery tracking you down. At least one mystery was solved. I finally mentioned to our postmaster that I saw you fly by on those incredibly wonderful magical skate boots of yours. My skates? Er, uh, icy skates? <sighs> well, how can I help you, Lois? Well, I have an idea that you just might find. Very interesting. I'm interested already. Is it a book order? An entirely different type of order altogether. The sporting goods store in Berry Bitty Dale wants to manufacture and sell my icy skites. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? But that's not all. They want me to design a matching outfit to go with the Icy Skites. Well, that's wonderful too, isn't it? But that's not all. They want me to make a commercial for their store website with a jingle and a dance. Is all that wonderful? It, uh, I don't know. I can write a commercial, but Design clothes? Make a video? 
Write music? I don't know if I'm good at those things. Well, you won't know if you're good at those things unless you try. And you could always ask for help. That's true. I just... I think it would be so much fun. Then what's to stop you? I see Skite on. And so, Blueberry decided that she'd give it a try. I want some icy Skite. Can you make me some? Yeah, I want some. I want some. Blueberry? Did you make the commercial, Blueberry? <laughs> if you will all please settle down, we'll find out. So, Blueberry asked her friends for help. She asked Raspberry for advice on fashion design because Raspberry was an expert. I like the colors, but I was thinking something more like this. Hmm. Well, I think for your Icy Skite outfit, this might be better. Well, thank you, Raspberry. I'll think it over. It was a very lovely dance you made up. So, you're all set then? Well, I'm gonna think about it. I might want to do something a little, um, sportier? Huh. Well, I think what they're probably looking for is a more classic figure skating ballet dance. Mm, you may be right. I'll think it over. But all your tips about moving to the music and planning the moves ahead of time really helped. What about this? Very glamorous, Lemon. Or did you like my spiky design better? I like them both. I know, they're both my favorite, too. Oh, I forgot about Plum's choreography. She said you're going with a classic ballet theme? I am? So maybe we should do a ballet bun. Do you mind if I think this all over? I love all your ideas, but I may want to go in a different direction. I bet you'll go with the ballet bun! Or maybe the spikes? I'll let you know. But thank you so much for all your help, Lemon. I never would have known how to get my hair into any style without your guidance. Ah! Anything there you like? Oh, girls, that was a beautiful melody. Raspberry told us you're going with a classic ballet theme. Well, no. I actually hadn't decided yet what I'm going with for my commercial. Oh, so are you still working it out? Well... Oh, I forgot my lyric pages. Be right back. Are you worried about something, Blueberry? Oh, Strawberry. Everyone helped show me how to do some of the things they're really good at, and they all have lots of ideas for me. But I'm kind of having fun thinking up some ideas on my own. Then you should. <laughs> Everyone will understand. Are you sure? You don't think they'll mind if I go my own direction? Of course they won't mind. And so I designed this very big, fabulously flowing gown for her commercial, and she isn't going to use it. Well, I choreographed a very graceful ice and butterfly dance that she isn't using either. But you are the dance expert, Plum, and you, Raspberry, are the fashion expert. It just doesn't make sense that she wouldn't be using your ideas. She should stick to what she does best, writing. What if her commercial is an embarrassment? We wouldn't want that to happen to her. What if Berry Bitty Dale Sporty Sports Store doesn't like the commercial, and then they wouldn't want her icy skites, and then... <coughs> oh, uh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. Hello. Have you been helping Blueberry with her commercial? Well, she did ask for help, or advice, or, you know, but... It doesn't seem like she needs our help after all. It seems like she's gonna do the whole thing by herself, with her own ideas. But, uh, that's okay, right? I mean, just because you're all good at something doesn't mean Blueberry can't be good at it, too. Well, it is her commercial. <laughs> it's nice that she asked for help, and nice that we helped her, but that doesn't mean she has to do what we all think. No. That's true. Well, I hope it turns out okay. However it turns out, I think we should give her our support. Okay, and action! Woo! Wait, this is some great action footage! 
footage. This is good. Keep going! Here's my jingle. I know it's not exactly what you girls had in mind, but I think it goes better with the action sports feel of the commercial. Um, what tune do we play this to? Well, I don't know how to write notes like Cherry. I can only hum what I had in mind. That's okay. Why don't you hum the melody and I'll write down the notes? <laughs> That'll work. Good idea, Cherry. Dun, 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 dun. before, you know, it gets out there. We'll help her redo it. Evening, girls. Oh, I can't wait to see the commercial. I'm in it. Can you believe it, girls? J.D. Bug from the post office is gonna be a star. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming to see a pre-screening of my Icy Skites commercial. I hope you like it. I got a lot of help from my friends on this, so I wanted to tell you all how grateful I am. My commercial wouldn't have been possible without my friend's expert know-how. But she didn't use her ideas. Shh. Okay. Well, here goes. Beric and Bruce, could you please start the film? From here to there The road is icy, but we don't care Cause we've got a real From icy skies to where Icy skies give us speed And all the things we need Before you know it, you'll be icy skiing with me Mystery once and for all. <laughs> There's yours. Now, now, don't crowd. There's plenty for everyone. Blueberry, they're selling like hotcakes. The hottest item I've had since blue in the dark croquet balls. That's fantastic. I'm so glad the commercial worked out. Is this the book we're reading for the next book club? Mm hmm. 
How come it doesn't have a cover? Gallopin' Gooseberries! The Long Winter Mystery by... Blueberry Muffin? Really? You wrote a whole mystery book? It's a work in progress. I was so disappointed that I guessed the culprit so early on in my Petty Persimmon mystery, it was the ball boy all along, that I thought I could write a better mystery than this. So, I was wondering if you could do me a favor and read it and help me make improvements? You want us to help you with writing? But, but, <laughs> but you're the best, Blueberry. I mean, you're the expert. But you're all good writers, too. And readers. So your opinions would be very valuable to me. Oh, of course we'll tell you what we think. Oh, look! You dedicated your book to us, Blueberry. Thank you, Blueberry! <laughs> did you really write a mystery, Blueberry? I did. But it's a little scary, so you'll have to read it when you're older. Do you think I could write a mystery, Blueberry? The only way to find out is to try. Here you go, Mr. Longface. Pomegranate tea and apple slices. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the cafe for me. My pleasure. And how is your garden growing? Oh, I'm hoping my flowers will be at their best in time for the flower festival. Come on, Pupcake. <laughs> ah, yes. The flower festival. The event of the year. Everyone? Hi, Berry Can Bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year. <laughs> as usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, Lemon Meringue, Strawberry Shortcake. Here, Strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, Lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh no, you can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. Oh, I'm telling no lies. You could win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now, to the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, Growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, wow! Yeah. 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 Lemon! Huh? Oh, uh, what? It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there. Soon as I tuck them in for the night. 
Good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> Lemon, my poor violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your violets? A flower thief. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Meringue. You're here early today. So are you. Good morning, Mr. Green. How are you? <laughs> Hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh... Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. <laughs> Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well, didn't you see? See what? His garden is right next to mine. That's true. Well? It's also true that we've known Barrican Bloom a long time. Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barrican Bloom would never do a thing like that. <gasps> what is it, Miss Murray? M m m more of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me. I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrican Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> I can kind of see Lemon's point, though, Strawberry. No one else was around all day except Barry Kim Bloom. And he told me I'm his biggest competition. Maybe he's only complimenting you. He is nice that way. Why do you think he would steal your violets anyway? Because his roses win the flower show every year, and he wants to make sure he wins this year, too. <laughs> oh, you? You come back here, you little troublemaker. Oh, Lemon, I'm so sorry about your violets. I know how much you care about them, and how awful it feels to lose something so special. Thanks, Strawberry. But it would feel pretty bad if someone accused you of stealing when you didn't. I know, but why is he there all the time when no one else is? Maybe... Uh, he's there all the time working on his roses, because he cares about them so much. Just like you care about your violets. <sighs> That's true. Just don't make up your mind about what happened until we can figure it out for sure, okay? Okay, Strawberry. I'll try. And in the meantime, hope that whatever happened to your flowers doesn't happen again. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it! Mine are gone! Mine are gone too! <gasps> How could it? Who did this? Just like lemons! Everyone has flowers missing! Not everyone. Barricade Bloom, did you lose any? Thank goodness all my roses are here. I'm so sorry for your flowers, my dear. Who else could it be? It's gotta be him. Oh, it's like Lemon said. 
This is serious, Strawberry. Very serious. Well... <laughs> my garden is like yours. It's just as I feared. My very best roses. They... <laughs> they've disappeared. <laughs> oh. Oh, Barrack and Bloom, I'm so, so, so sorry. You don't know how sorry. What will we do? Flower Festival is two days away. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Princess. Okay, girls. What did everyone find? Well, with all the flowers missing, whoever carried them off... If someone carried them off. Okay. If someone carried them off, they are either really big or there is a lot of them. But we didn't find any tracks. Yeah. No tracks except ours. No, that's spooky. Uh, maybe the thief flew in. Could be. At this point, anything's possible. Where were you on the night when this terrible tragedy occurred? <laughs> asleep? Mm, me too. Oh, asleep, huh? That seems mighty suspicious. Uh, Lemon? They always sleep at night. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh ha! <laughs> Violet Petal Salad, huh? Why, hello there, Miss Meringue. Uh, yes, my favorite. My precious violets. Lunch! Mr. Longface, how could you? Oh, oh but they're not your violets. <laughs> I weeded and watered and worked for weeks growing my... They're not? Oh, no. I grew them myself. I'm afraid they're not fine enough to enter into the festival, uh, but good enough to eat. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. Strawberry, it's just... I can't get over this bad feeling I have from hurting Mr. Longface's feelings. And after you warned me, too. I know. Sometimes it's hard not to jump to conclusions. I won't do it again. I want to get all the facts. That's what we're going to get. Yep. Ready for Catch a Thief Camp Out. This is going to be so scary. I can't wait. <laughs> the thief. Not to mention too nice. So let's, you know, check the pictures. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> There's a great one. <laughs> Ew, look at me. You, <laughs> look at me. Hey, Lemon, this shot of your violets came out great. Nice one, Strawberry. Thanks. Hey, everybody, come here. Look at this! What? what? What is that? I don't know. But whatever it was, from the angle of the photo, it was right over... there! Come on, Lemon. You want to check it out, don't you? Uh... uh-huh. Sure. Do you see it? Yeah, there it is. 
Paris? Oh, oh, maybe we better run! Now, don't be scared. There's one of it, six of us. Yeah, but f f five of us are frozen in fear. I told Princess Berry, can we get to the bottom of this? And we're gonna do it. Right? Now! <gasps> huh? Just shadows. I should have guessed. Like when we think we see animals in the clouds. So, um, now what do we do? I know what I'm gonna do. You're coming home with me where you'll be safe. another flower heist. Next year, let's have a ceramics festival instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like something was under the ground. Things were going up and going down and sideways and forwards and shaking. It was like the end of the world. The end of the world? Not the end of the world. Close to the end of the world? No. The day before the end of the world, when it's getting into the part where all life as we know it ceases to plumb. Huh? Everyone, please! It is something <gasps> under the ground. <gasps> it's over there! That's where the garden is! Come on! Look! More Bear Can Bloom's roses are missing! Oh, he'll be so upset! I've calculated that three of mine are gone. Two left here. Good thing I moved my best violet inside. There's only four violet plants left out here. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking the missing flowers and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Did you see that? Uh, how could... How, how did... Look! I'm coming to the conclusion that the flowers are not being picked up. Yeah, they're being pulled down! <gasps> Look! Wow! Uh, girls, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I got us into this, and uh, maybe we don't need to know what's taking the flowers and uh, ending the world after all. <laughs> don't you want to figure this out? Come on, we're all here with you. Yeah. What could happen when you have your friends with you? Uh, how about a lot? <laughs> Lemon, it's about time we shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so.
I think we found our thief. <laughs> I think you're right. Well, Lemon, your violets are sure first prize with somebody. <laughs> Just my luck, it's a gopher. Wait, it's cute and all, but what will we tell Princess Barrican? With this critter around, we won't have any more flower festivals. Or flowers, for that matter. I think I have an idea. You're the best. But I feel bad that you don't have any flowers to enter in the festival. <sighs> so do I. Can I help you with that, Mr. Blue? Hello, Lemon. Uh, thank you. Mr. Bloom, I wanted to say I'm sorry about... Well, you see... I thought maybe you took my violets because you wanted to win. Oh, Lemon. In my heart? Oh, I knew you'd never do something like that, but somehow I let myself think it before I found out the truth. Will you forgive me? Of course, Lemon. You know, I do want to win. But what fun would it be if I was the only one in the contest? I heard how you gave up the flowers you loved best. By doing that, you saved mine and all of the rest. Thanks. And good luck. I hope you win. Thank you, Lemon. And second prize goes to... Barrican Bloom for his lovely roses. Second prize? He didn't win first prize? I can't believe it. I think his roses are the nicest. And now, the first prize for the most beautiful flowers in Berry Bitty City. The first prize goes to... Lemon Yay! Congratulations, Lemon! Congratulations, Lemon. Your violets really were first prize. But I didn't even enter a flower. Strawberry entered it for you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry! You're very welcome, Lemon. But it was Berry Can Bloom's idea.